What is going on everybody? It is NTC and I am back for another episode of Overwatch Weekly. This is the 23rd one. It has not felt like I've made 23 of these, but here we are. Um, not a ton of stuff this week. Um, but there's a couple of big stories which will make it a little bit longer. Uh, so we're going to start with the first thing, which is that Halloween Terror has officially begun for 2018. It is going to be running from October 9th, yesterday, through October 31st, uh, which is the last Wednesday of the month, because it's the last day of the month. So there you go. That's how long the event will be running for. If you want to see a video on all of the unlockable items, skins, sprays, voice lines, highlight intros, I, emotes, I think that's everything, uh, they... Victory poses, that's in the description down below, I showed you everything. You can also check it out on the game as well, on the What's New tab, if you want it to be easy for you, but there you go, boom. That is all of your unlockable items and whatnot, but the event has begun. Uh, Jungle Times Revenge again, a couple things new about it. Um, just a couple new heroes you can play as, but nothing crazy new about it. Uh, with the drop of Halloween Terror, though, we also got some patch notes. Now, the main part of this patch notes is the Halloween Terror 2018 event. But this patch notes also may be something you recognize if you have been following the PDR or you've been following other uh, videos I've made a couple weeks ago. We got the Torbjorn rework drop on the PTR, and that is exactly what this update is. So we have the colorblind option now in the actual game and not just the test servers. The reduction of Brigitte's shield from 600 hit points to 500 hit points. Uh, has been implemented. Doomfist's hand cannon damage fall off now starting at 15 meters. McCree's combat roll cooldown reduced from 8 seconds to 6 seconds. Farah had a whole <laughs> slew of changes. Her concussive blast had its cooldown reduced from 12 to 9 seconds. Her rocket launcher's attack speed is increased with lowered recovery time between shots uh, from 0.9 to 0.75 seconds. The damage was redistributed between explosion and impact with the explosion damage reduced from 80 265 and the impact damage increased from 40 to 55. The explosion knockback was reduced by 20% and the self knockback yeah, self knockback amount increased by 25%. May had her visual uh, ability update thing. <laughs> visual effects for abilities is updated. That's what I'm looking for. Arisa's fusion drivers maximum spread was reduced by 20%. Soldier 76's heavy pulse rifle had his number of shots until reaching maximum spread increased from 6 to 9, and Torbjorn's rework, the extensive rework. I won't go into detail about this here. I've talked about that in the past. Um, I'll link to that video as well in the description. Um, there's also a couple of changes, but if you want to check it out, link is in the description. The next story is a little interesting one. Um, I talked about this about a month ago, <laughs> but uh, you can get, if you have Twitch Prime, one golden loot box. Um, this is the second golden loot box you're able to get. There was also another one last month, and the month before that you could get two Wrecking Ball loot boxes, so now you can get uh, golden loot boxes. You can get one this month. It is running from now until November 5th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific. So uh, you have to log on to Overwatch by December 31st of this year at 11.59 p.m. to claim it. So you can get it through your Twitch Prime if you have Twitch Prime. Um, if not, I believe you can get a free trial for it um, for like, I don't know how long, but you can get a trial for it. But you're guaranteed a legendary item, so I got Oni Genji from mine, which is a little disappointing because uh, I have better Genji skins, but I got it, so it's whatever. So that's, that's that. It does not connect with the... Halloween Terror event, so you will not get a Halloween Golden Loot Box, you'll just get a Golden Loot Box. The item inside will not be Halloween Terror related. The next story is a uh, collectible item that you can buy from Blizzard, and it is a magnetic levitating snowball, which is May's little robot friend, and it's honestly the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life. It is awesome. Uh, it's really well made. It looks like something that people will make great cosplays with. The 
face has actual LEDs and it lights and it like has a screen. I guess not an LED. It's like a screen and it, it's expressive and whatnot. I have a link in the description to a YouTube video that also has a link in the description of that to the pre-order page if you want to look at that. Um, I don't want to link. <laughs> I won't link directly to the pre-order page if you just want to see it um, in, in action. I'll link to the video if you're interested. It's in the description there, but it's it's pretty cool. I think it's uh, going to be interesting. It's $175, so uh, sorry about that. If you want to pay $175 for May's little snowball buddy, you can do that. If not, I don't blame you. And already we're on to the last story. Uh, this is a quick one, I told you. Um, this one, though, we'll see how long this one runs. Oh my god, I got an ad. I hate ads so much. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, we have Overwatch's Lucio O's may be becoming a real serial. This comes from IGN. The link is in the description, of course. Let's just read through this and then talk about it. <laughs> so, an in game Overwatch joke may be turning into an actual product, as first reported by the Junk Food Isle. Product listings for Lucio O's cereal from Kellogg's have turned up on the website 1fsschools.com. The junk food aisle has posted what it claims to be an image of the Lucio O's cereal box with a supposed release date of December 3rd. The O's will apparently come in a Sonic vanilla flavor and will include codes for an Overwatch loot boost for a limited time. According to Junk Food Isle's report, the cereal will grant buyers free Overwatch in-game loot boxes for every box of cereal purchased between December 3rd and December 31st. Consumers will then supposedly need to take a picture of their receipt and go to kfr.com slash lucioos, which is currently a dead URL, to register, log in, and post the picture within 30 days of purchase. Players will then be granted an additional in-game loot box the next three times to level up by March 31st, 2019. IGN could not independently verify the veracity of the Lucio O's box image, the cereal's release date, or the loot boost info. Lucio O's are based off an in-game spray for Lucio that advertises the cereal. The spray shows the character Lucio on a box of cereal named Lucio O's in which the character is holding up a bowl of the cereal and giving a thumbs up. Overwatch fans started multiple petitions on change.org and the Overwatch forums to have Blizzard make the cereal a reality, and now they may finally be getting their wish. It's looking like a banner month for Overwatch tie-in products. Just last week, Blizzard announced a $175 levitating version of May Snowball. Hey, we talked about that. And gave fans their first real look at the Overwatch. Like I said, hey, we talked about that too. So, yeah. Um, this is really interesting to me. And the thing that's most interesting about it is um, the, the image, which I'm going to try to put up. I can't guarantee it'll be up. Depends on if I find a good enough image of it, but the image of the Lucio O's, like the the actual like leaked image, is interesting because the little like buy a free or get a free loot boost thing, that whole like sidebar thing, I've seen before. So obviously, if this is fake. The person who made it had seen the um, other places that it is around because I saw it on Pop Tarts. There was a thing, but it, I saw it a couple weeks ago. It was still September, and I saw something. It was like October 9th. You could buy these, and it's active. I didn't buy it because <laughs> um, I was like, I don't need Pop Tarts right now, so I'm not going to buy this. But it was something related to that. Now, Pop Tarts is a Kellogg's company. So it would make sense if these two are connected that we could potentially get Lucio O's as a real cereal, which is honestly one of the greatest things I've ever heard in my entire life. I hope they're good. I will most definitely pick up at least one box, and I will not get rid of that box. I will save the box whenever I buy it. But um, it is really, really weird. It's an interesting concept just like having it, it makes sense like it's cereal it's an easy way to <laughs> brand right <laughs> just say hey here is uh this cereal that we just made hey hey <laughs> based off something in game hey hey so i know i'm interested i hope it's good um i'll definitely pick up a box if it ends up being real 
Uh, this is the kind of announcement I would say look out for when BlizzCon hits, um, because that's going to be a busy time for Overwatch news. Um, I am going to <laughs> be very busy when BlizzCon hits, talking about all of the different things that drop. So for the next month or so, I'm expecting news to kind of slow down. Overwatch League news has been very, very slow. There wasn't even any new signings that were confirmed. Um, and as much as there are people always talking about signings and saying, oh, this team signed this player, this team signed this player, I only like to talk about signings that are 100% confirmed, that have been proven to be true through either the team or the league itself. And I do not believe that any of the current rumors that I've seen um, have no uh, official announcement. So I could be wrong, obviously, if there is one that uh, I missed as being proven true, as being legitimate, please let me know. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments, but I believe none of them are confirmed true. So a um, little side note as we're on the subject of the Overwatch League, the signing window for every team is now open as of Monday, so every team now can sign anybody. Uh, there was a, an exclusive window for a, about a month for just the expansion teams, but now every team can make signings. So I'd say expect in the next week or two to start seeing some stuff about signings and the way teams have decided to sign and go the direction, you know, whatever going forward. I can't talk. <laughs> um, because last year, all the rosters were announced in October. Um, I don't know if they were all finalized rosters, but they gave like, hey, here's our rosters, here's our here's our teams. So I'm expecting something similar this year, but I don't know yet. Uh, that's really everything I have for you. So um, yeah, I think it's we're getting to a point where we're kind of slowing down on news just because of I think the way the game is going directionally, and. I think it's just kind of gearing up for BlizzCon. So when BlizzCon hits, we may start getting a lot more information that rolls out really, really quickly after BlizzCon and during BlizzCon. So <laughs> be on the lookout for that because it is going to be a ride in about uh, three weeks. So beginning of November, look out for BlizzCon. But I'm going to end this off here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. It helps out a bunch. Comment down below if you have any questions about something. I would love to answer it. Um, I'm always I'm always checking my comments. So, thank you. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Go enjoy some Halloween terror. The skins are great. Yes.